Hey y'all, I'm Rev Mimi and I am back with a spiritual snack. Um, I recently took a hiatus from all of social media um, and it lasted for a pretty good while uh, just to cleanse my mind, body, and spirit. Pray that you guys do one soon. I know that to you, social media is everything, but taking a break, I promise you, um, it will realign you with God and just allow you to feel at peace. Um, and what happened was as soon as I ended uh, my social media fast and logged back on Instagram, it took about two, three minutes before I was hit with that feeling of lack and that feeling of inadequacy simply uh, by falling victim to the trap that the enemy sets uh, of comparison. And I want to talk today about moving from the competitive plane and moving into the creative plane. The fact of the matter is the enemy wants us to constantly be in competition. That's why social media can be so detrimental to our mental health, because as soon as we log on, we're flooded with how everyone else is doing. And yes, we're clear that people uh, only post the highs and very rarely post the lows were clear, but we also are clear about the fact that sometimes seeing other people succeed uh, makes us feel bad or feel uh, less than um, when it comes to where we are in our lives or in our journey. And so I want to talk about what God says about it. First Peter chapter four, verses 10 through 11. And basically what he talks about is how all of our gifts were pre-designated by God. And that makes us special. That makes us unique. And do you know what that also means? It means that nothing anyone else is doing, nothing anyone else is completing or accomplishing can take away from what God is going to do in your life. It reads like this. Each of you should use whatever gift you have received to serve others as faithful stewards of God's grace in its various forms. If anyone speaks, they should do so as one who speaks the very words of God. If anyone serves, they should do so with the strength God provides so that in all things, God may be praised through Jesus Christ. To him be the glory and the power forever and ever. The thing is, Peter wrote this because there were people within the church that felt their gift wasn't as purposeful or as impactful as the other gifts that they were seeing. And we tend to do that same thing, right? We tend to look at how someone else is winning, how someone else is excelling, and start to feel bad about not being able to win in that same way. But the Bible is trying to tell us and remind us that we're not supposed to win in their way. We're supposed to win in our way, in the way that God pre-designated us to win. You understand that you're already going to be victorious. That's just how God created you, but you're only going to be victorious if you lean into who you are and stop comparing yourself to who someone else is. And so I just want to encourage you. The fact is we win when we move into a creative space, when we lean into the gifts that God gave us and we start to create and develop and grow from the natural gifts that God has already given us. And we win in that way, but we lose when we start to compare ourselves to other people because that's not the way that God created you. God created you to be you and no one can do you the way that you can. That's all I have for y'all today. I pray that each of you is staying prayed up and blessed. Um, I pray that you're also enjoying uh, even your quiet time in this season. Um, I want to remind you that our squad parties are on Sundays at 2 o'clock p.m. Our last Sunday squad, uh, squad party was epic. We had great conversation um, and we want to encourage as many students as possible to go ahead and join us. Uh, if you don't have the link already, go ahead and email me at revmim at kingdom.global. All right, y'all. See y'all on Sunday at 2 p.m. Be blessed.